Hey, and welcome, everybody. Come on in and grab a seat at the bar. I'm your photo happy hour bartender, Michael Mowbray. And today I'm serving up zombie cocktails. Ooh. Stay tuned for the recipe at the end of the show. And joining me today are my compadres, my uh, Batman and Robin to my Flash. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure where you're going with that. I'm just, <laughs> I don't know. Saying. It was coming. It's just like. Yeah, that was whatever. not scripted. Yeah. <laughs> no. can, can you believe that? That was not scripted. Maybe we're more wow. like the Suicide Squad. Yeah, maybe that's a better. <laughs> Which have, have you guys seen the new one that Schneider did? It's no. actually pretty good. Not Schneider. Um, the uh, the guy who did Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy, Gun, James Gunn. Oh yeah, I yeah, saw the preview. Yeah, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It was entertaining. It's really, really gory, super gory. But um, which you know, hey, this time of year, what the heck, gory? gory. So, gory could be good. So how you guys doing? Yep. Good, good. I'm, I'm heading know. off to Mexico. As you guys know, I'm, I'm COVID free, and I'm heading off to Mexico uh, in a few days. So yeah, by the time awesome. this drops, yes. I'll probably be on the beach somewhere. So, no, well, I'm, I'm going to try to get this out uh, because today, in case you can't figure it out from, I, 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 yeah, I'm doing the part here. I, I'm, I'm, you know, you look I'm, the same. I'm, I'm holding up the <laughs> thanks, <laughs> holding up the brand. This is our spooky Halloween show, Ooh. Tales from the Dark Side of Photography. So we're going to regale oh. you with spooky tales. Spooky uh, tales. You should have started stuff. with that instead of the Batman and Robin. Uh, yeah, 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 well, I didn't. Sure. You know, again, <laughs> this is really, there's very little scripting. I have a little bit, of, I have a little Word doc here, and that's usually just so I get our sponsor stuff right, and that's it. And, and, yeah. and the recipe for the cocktail, that's it. Well, that's, so, that's the important ooh. parts, yes. It yes. is. So we Speaking have of which, look. who are we sponsored by? Oh. Oh. We'll, we'll use this music underneath. The Photo Happy Hour is sponsored in part by Red Girl Creative. She's going to love this. <laughs> Copywriting services for photographers and wedding professionals. Kim from Red Curl Creative. Speak your language. Save $97 on Kim's Write Better Words course. Mwah! When you use <laughs> discount code Happy Hour. Yeah, so it was perfect. Fun. It's amazing so, how, yeah. how scary my copy and stuff was, or kind of still is, except for the parts that she helped me with. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> amazing. I'm so. doing a really professional fade out here. I'm just hitting the button on my cell phone. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> nice fade. I'm supposed to be talking yeah. over this while we fade out. Ooh. Nice, Ooh. nice, nice. Good job. Good just job. like on space balls. Yeah. Nice yes. to solve. <laughs> Speaking of that. No, yeah. wait, that was the conversation we are having offline. Um, <laughs> something to do with Howdy Doody. Anyway. Um, Never mind. Anyway. <laughs> so, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff. What's the most scared you've ever been on a session? Ooh. Every single wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. They're all the same. It's the tie. <laughs> oh, I, I still have wedding nightmares. Oh yeah, still have them. I had one Absolutely. the other night. Yeah, uh, and I, don't, I don't have enough batteries. Something about yeah. batteries. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. I don't have those anymore. But forgot the cards. Yeah, every once in a while, I'll get that where I'm like cutting the lawn on a, a nice Saturday afternoon or morning and thinking, I don't have anything scheduled today, do I? <laughs> <laughs> and it's much better now that everything goes to my cell phone. But before then, it's like, hey, the studio line's ringing. Like, where are you? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm cutting the grass. There. Why? I'm cutting Why the grass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But scary sessions? I don't know. That's, well, know. let me put it this way. This, I, I, I've, you've, we've talked about this before, maybe, maybe not. But um, the scariest time for me. It's the weirdest is when they come in and pick up their order. And I think I'm, am I the, I know it's, it's really weird. No one, I think I'm the only person. Is that what it is? It's awkward because this could be, you know, you've had all this connection with them and all this stuff and they're, they're going to come and get it. And you're like, this is it. You know, it's kind of like a breakup, you know, you, you might see them again. You might never see them again. It's, it's partly that. And it's also like, I feel like, like the buildup, 
to the session and then the session's fun and then the reveal of the images they're hyped up and then you know there you you kind of capitalize and in person sales is on that emotion and then i just don't want them i think to come in and then this is what i ordered and kind of have buyer's remorse oh, and that's oh, like sure. the last sure touch point as well so i'm just like oh i just hope they love everything which there's no reason they shouldn't they've seen right. everything they they have and it's it's always been good, but it's always like, eh. or like all of a sudden they notice something weird, like oh, like so this did happen once. The old ring light um, imagery I used to do when I so I built my big ring light, which I called the diamond light, and I used that forever. But it was kind of homemade and janky, so I got the the smaller, nicer one that had the the solid ring. Oh sure. Well. When you're when you were sh and that's back when I was in pro doing proofs too before in person sales and so the proofs were four by six size so they didn't always notice the circle in the eye and all of a sudden they get eleven by fourteen or sixteen by twenty and come in and be like what'd you do to her eyes I'm like nothing it was the ring light they didn't like that oh. circle in the eyes yeah and now they're looking at their wall portrait like eh. so I stopped using that <laughs> yeah but the diamond light it's not a solid it's just those little dots, so it's not as obvious. I mean, people never Which complain about that. Made me th made me think of that the other day. I can't remember what I was watching. It was might have been a news program or whatever, or news program promo. It almost looked like your diamond light, because uh, no, it was, I think it was like sixty minutes, and it was like it was like boop 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 boop. It was like you saw all these like little these lights all the way around. And it was crazy. Well, I haven't watched sixty minutes in a long time, but. Uh, when Barbara Walters special, you ever notice how they had like a soft focus filter? Oh, yeah. On her. As the older and... she got, they'd stack another one on. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna need another soft tar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, when, four, or seventeen. When H, yes. <laughs> when HD TV came out, they're like, no more Barbara Walters. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is this is gonna show our age and take us way back. So, half our listeners are gonna go, "What? You guys remember um, Moonlighting? The show Moonlighting? Yeah." Yeah, Bruce, Bruce Willis, Willis and Sybil, Sybil Shepard. Yeah. They'd always have kind of hard light on him. They cut to her, and they were like, you know, yeah. sheets of plexiglass in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> well, they, they, a lot of older black and white films were that way as well. You're, you'll, you'll notice too, and yeah. yeah. And also, yeah. An interesting side note: if you've ever watched, uh, there's a Netflix special, like the movies that made us or something, and uh, you know, Bruce Willis was always in that when he did Die Hard, that was the first like action movie type thing that he did. And at the time it was like Rambo and, uh, you know, all the big muscle guys, Chuck uh, Norris Schwarzenegger. Too. Yeah. With, yeah. you know, commando or whatever. And so he was kind of like this kind of, kind of quirky guy on moonlighting or whatever. And then now he was this action hero, and they didn't put his face actually on the movie poster because they thought people aren't going to show up. Um, and then it ended up being like this huge hit, uh, and that's when he kind of launched his and career in action movies. And then that, that whole trend started to change. You didn't have to be a muscle head to be a action star. Oh yeah. So yeah, there's your there's your yeah, useless actually, movie I, information I, for the podcast. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I saw that one, and by the way, yeah. So it's the movies that made us. Those were fun. I, I think I've I've seen every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. So it gives you all the back. Now is that a Netflix on, or, or is that know. the History Channel? I I get confused because there's a. It's it's either Netflix or on Hulu. I think it's Netflix. Okay. I want to say yeah, yeah. it's Netflix. Pretty they sure. have like uh, I Back know. to the Future. It's like one of the and... streaming services. I just go through it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dirty Dancing's on there. Dirty Dancing's. Um, on there. I didn't watch that one, but I heard there might have been on there. Ghostbusters, yeah. I think the original ending to, to uh, Dirty Dances is supposed to be very dark or something. I, I haven't watched that one, but oh, yeah? I was actually listening to a different podcast where they were talking about it. <laughs> oh, really? All yes. I remember from that is that uh, Jennifer Gray and Patrick Swayze hated each other. Actually, he he hated her. He couldn't stand her. Oh, yeah. So actually, I'm wrong. It wasn't Dirty movie. Dancing. It was um, Pretty Woman. Sorry. 
pretty mm. warm. Oh, it's going to be a dark ending? Well, it's supposed to be a dark ending, yeah. I could see that being a dark ending, yeah. yeah. I think where she stabs him and takes all of his money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or I, the I'd necklace, at that. least. You know. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> necklace. Exactly. <laughs> Snap that jewelry box on me, you <laughs> bastard. Yeah. Movie montage. <laughs> From slapping the mint to slapping the jewelry me. box. <laughs> Trying to feed me so snails. I'll show you out there. <laughs> yeah. So back to spooky. Slip, slippery little suckers. Back to spooky. Carl, what, did you, ever... what do you have? <laughs> well, I, I did have a senior girl a while back that actually she you know, nobody really surprised him anymore or you know Rose I mean I can get along with part pretty much anybody, but there's two people that really stood out over the years and this one girl is is one of them. Um she had whatever requested that she wanted to wear boxing gloves. And I'm like, oh, you box? She said, no. I'm like, okay, what, what's with the boxing gloves? She says, well, it helps me with my other personality. I'm going, oh, okay, that's cool. And then she's, and she started talking in this really deep, really weird, like ghoulish voice. She's like, this is my other me. <laughs> She's like, I want to be more in the sh- I want to be more in the dark for this. I'm thinking, holy crap, what do we get ourselves into here? But she kept talking in this weird, like deep, like growly, um, weird, like ghoulish, like uh, almost like the uh, oh, we use Ghostbusters, the 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 um, Zool. gargoyle or whatever. The, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. What was the name? Zeus or whatever. Zool. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's that just would freak the out. hell out of me. Uh, actually, I think she out. called me for a session, Carl, and I referred her to you. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I got just Ooh. the guy fit yeah. for, just for your the personality. The, the bad news here is I'm going to have to charge you twice if there's two of you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> exactly. It's like a twin session. Out. So yeah. if she was channeling Mike we won't Tyson, charge you gotta for watch the your stuff ears, of the two of you together, but each individual, yeah, that's separate. Yeah. Wow. I had I had a senior guy a number of years ago. He was very quiet, but when he talked, it was like this really, really forced super falsetto. I mean, we're talking like Mickey Mouse would sound <laughs> deep. Is he uh, from Saskatchewan? Grown ups. Yeah. Oh, hey, what? You got, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw that. I don't remember that. But yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, I guess we're not going to. Such a tune. Such a tune. Such a tune. That's it. Such a tune. Oh, my gosh. That's too funny. Oh, that, yeah. That is interesting. Uh, that would kind of freak me out. Um, and she kept doing it all, all afternoon, all evening, whatever. And I'm like, Please stop. Saw, how long did you spend with her? Like a whole day well, session? It was, you know? it was one of our travel sessions. This was years ago, actually. And, but it was one of our travel sessions. We started at like 4 o'clock in, um, in the studio inside. And then we head outside on different locations and going all over to Timbuktu. Um, but, yeah, it was weird. It was just weird. Well, this is not weird, but it um, it could it – could kind of, I'm going to work it into this podcast. Uh, so I Go photographed – <laughs> My senior, one of my senior models this year, she, we did a bunch of different sessions and then we did her regular session. So we were on like her third outfit or something. And she's like, oh, we should get a picture with Shaggy. And so her mom's like, oh yeah, that'd be funny. So she pulls out this little, um, Shaggy, like Scooby and Shaggy, like Shaggy, you know, yeah. what's his, does he even have a last name? I don't know. Shaggy. Mystery. Yeah. Shaggy. Uh, and so we did a fun little Shaggy picture. She's holding Shaggy. That. Yeah. <laughs> It was fun. It was hilarious. Really? And so and it, it was awesome because, of course, they ordered a picture of it. But it was like, here's all the different sides of her because she like she she was a dancer and then she could pose like a model and then she could be goofy. So it was fun to like incorporate. And her dad was goofy. Her dad came along, too. So at one point. Well, you know, uh, it can't be both goofy. One could be goofy. One could be Mickey or Pluto or somebody. But is that how it is? Can't no, both one be shaggy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, so oh, it was okay. it was fun. It wasn't it wasn't spooky, but I mean, I guess what what was Scooby Doo? That's it. Like that's supposedly like a you know, yeah scary kind of mystery machine cartoon, right? Yeah, There's mystery scary. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> mystery. Yeah, so jinkies, work. jinx, <laughs> yikes, jinx. No, yeah, I jinx. missed that. Yikes, jinkies, Scooby snacks, jinkies, Scooby snacks. That's yeah. I mean. That's, 
the I'm the original Scooby Doo uh, generation because when that came out, that's when I was I don't know, it was late sixties when I came out. So I was like the original kids that got up and watched that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every you met I saw all the kids. reruns. I saw them. You know, I saw them first yeah. run. We would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Yeah, Old man dog. Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. The meddling kids. Nobody yeah. noticed that it was the same plot over and over again. Over and over again. <laughs> like Star Wars? Oh, oh here's no, a little have... trivia for you. <laughs> Big trivia. Ready? Mm-hmm. Who voiced? Who was the original voice for Shaggy? Was it me? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> no. Casey Kasem. <laughs> Casey Kasem. Casey Kasem. Yep. America's ha! Top 40, Casey Kasem. <laughs> what do I win, was Bob? It <laughs> was the original original voice for Shaggy. Yeah. Yep. That, that I sense. do remember. Yeah. God, that yeah. scares me yeah. that I remember yeah. that. Man, if, and if, the if original voice of Scooby, like this, you know. this, this will blow you away. Original voice of Scooby, Dick Cheney. No way. No. <laughs> that ain't no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, uh... I was gonna yeah, say, anyway. I was gonna say, what's his? I can't think of it. The guy from American Idol that's kind of taken over the Dick Clark kind of Casey Kasem thing. Oh yeah, um, uh, Ryan Seacrest. Ryan, Ryan Seacrest. Seacrest. Yeah, he's yeah, he's yeah. everywhere. <laughs> he's everywhere. I've, I've right. never, uh, I, I've never Your photographed scary anybody thing. possessed. But <laughs> that you know. I have. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I have photographed in haunted places a few times. Oh, actually, some places are extremely haunted. Uh, never saw anything. Felt some presence presences. Um, I don't know, Dan. I don't think you ever got to sh- shoot in the Ringling Mansion with me, did you? Yeah, you did the Ringling yeah. I, w- I was with I, you, and that's where in the mansion. My yeah, my flash wasn't working. Did you have problems with your Ooh. flash too, or what? that was at the ghost town? You had problems with the flash. That was yes, over it. See, but I had problems. Spooky. It, at the uh, not at the mansion. The mansion, everything worked, but the theater. Um, I had problems. Yeah. Is the theater that's right haunted as well? And isn't there yeah. like a tunnel, no, I, a underneath tunnel? Someone was was Rachel saying, from the theater no, to the I, mansion. Rachel or Bill was. Telling us that there was, a, there was, or still is, um, an underground tunnel that would run from the ring. For, the, just for people who don't know, what we're talking about Baraboo, Wisconsin, was the home of the Ringling Family Circus, and they built this beautiful theater, like a opulent theater, and it was about I don't know, block and a half away from the house of A. L. Ringling, one of the Ringling brothers, and there was a tunnel supposedly that runs from the house to the. Um, to the theater which is that's supposed to be scarier than i've never been in that but um i've been in the house probably half a dozen times and mrs ringling supposedly really haunts her room and i was in her room photographing one time and it was like one of those where the temperature kind of drops a bit and you're like hmm (laughs) 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 hello Hope you don't mind that I'm here. I usually, you know, I'm getting places like that. They're either supposedly haunted or you feel something weird. I just talk to them and you know say, "Hey, just your photographing. Nice room. Love your decorations. Very tasteful." Bring me my Leave light me meter, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can you hold this, please? <laughs> yeah. Can you hold this light while you're here? <laughs> but evidently, that that mansion, they. Um, they have, they've had ghost hunters in there like for some like I don't know what show, mm-hmm. one of the one of the seventy five ghost hunting shows that are out there now, yeah. that are all that are all on cable right now, or streaming. Oh they only yeah. They come out like in September and there's a, September and October and then they're gone. F- flipping through the channels last night, it's like go, paranormal ghost hunters, <laughs> scary movie, scary movie. It's scary movie. October, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The World Series. So yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, that was scary too. I mean, yeah, yeah, right, <laughs> right. Um, but hey, I photographed a wedding. Speaking of weddings and, and scary things, uh, I photographed the wedding for the part owners of the haunted house in Green Bay. That the um, Turn on the Fox. Um, was it Turn on the Fox or was it? What was the other one that was there? Well, I, I photographed in Green Bay Fear quite a bit. Yeah, but this is like people that 
and everyone in the wedding party were all the people that are part owners of that. Um, that we photographed. They all had the same tattoo. It was really, pretty cool. We went and photographed in the haunted house. Of course, it was daylight, so it wasn't yeah. as fun. But, yeah. Um, well, and if you ever do yeah. an actual Halloween wedding, those yeah. are fun. Oh, yeah. I, I had a bride and groom where the uh, rings were in a little, they had a little custom wooden coffin made. So, and everybody was encouraged to dress up and come to this, to the wedding. So, half the people were dressed up. So, the best man pulled out the coffin and took the lid off. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh okay. Oh, yeah, you made me remember something that was kind of spooky. So uh, I went to do this photo shoot once, and we were going to shoot in this, like, abandoned upstairs building that this girl owned. And I had met these people from – shooting at the haunted house and stuff because we would do shoots at the haunted house, which I can tell that story if there's time too, but this is more creepy. Um, so I showed up, had all my gear and everything, and they're like, okay. So you had to walk through. They, she had a storefront and then like her living quarters, and then you walked upstairs to the abandoned um, attic, which was really cool. But walking through the living room, I see on the floor the like – star pentagram thing with candles <laughs> yeah what <laughs> okay a, a summoning circle <laughs> i was like what yeah. am i getting myself into here and then got upstairs and i was like oh shoot if this goes south man i, I gotta look for exits and stuff you know but <laughs> everything was fine and then talking to the model i was shooting like she's like oh yeah she's like uh witch like wiccan she yeah practices all that stuff i'm like she's okay. a witch Burr. so i did the shoot and got the <laughs> heck out of there but uh yeah that was a, that you know i totally forgot about that joe you mentioned the coffin thing i, I don't know why i that... actually had a wedding similar to that um and it turns out they they'd already technically and they didn't say this to me but they i heard from the family they technically got married in the courthouse um but they had their official wedding ceremony was at mom and dad's home you know their their original home and all their friends were there that performed the wedding um and of course i was sitting there and thinking okay you know nor i'm thinking normal weddings and stuff but we're in the house and they're going to have a ceremony over here by this bookcase in this living room area whatever and the bride's going to walk down the steps and uh the groom's coming in from the deck over here okay we got this so then all of a sudden <laughs> they wheeled the bride in okay. like like well silence of the lambs <laughs> Hannibal Lecter <laughs> yeah they had actually they had can you imagine I, I, coming I down the aisle photographing <laughs> yeah it wasn't aisle it was a stairway but yeah but I'm thinking Carly's. what the heck they had they had this 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 ring of like candles and everything and then um. When I walked, because I was photographing, you know, the, the stuff of mom and dad and the mom and dad and the bride and, you know, all the, that kind of stuff outside. Well, while I was out there, the friends set up the area for the ceremony. So I <laughs> walked in there, I'm thinking, what the heck is this? And they're like, okay, now the bride must enter the ring of fire. And I'm thinking, <laughs> okay. And, of course, I'm thinking... This is like photojournalism, right, dude? I'm gonna I'm gonna photograph whatever happens. If she like goes up in flames, I'm here to record it. Whatever it takes, you know. But and I'm thinking that's how the first trash okay. address was started. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I said this is this is bizarre. And then I turn around and you know this is why I always say you know when you're photographing weddings, um, always look for the little stories, not the main thing with the bride and groom but the little things are happening that the bride and groom don't know about that they find out later um because of your images so i always turn around and I, I look at mom and dad in the pew what are they doing what is grandma doing um during the ceremony that kind of stuff and this time i turned around and looked and here's grandma going <laughs> what the hell not is what this? she had envisioned yeah yeah. <laughs> but yeah it was it was one of the kind of fantasy weird psychedelic bizarre <laughs> storybook weddings i guess on their part and it, it was neat it was actually cool it turned out to be one actually printed display images from it way back when but cool uh 
it was it was out there that's for sure it was something i definitely wasn't expecting that's <laughs> for certain one of the questions i always used to ask couples when you have like the um one of the last meetings before the before the actual wedding it's like you know i always i don't like being surprised during the ceremony because you never know you know how long is the ceremony or the you know so I always, are there any special things you're going to be doing in the ceremony you know it started off like that and then i'd start to go any special th you know uh, you know, special things during the ceremony, like are you doing, uh, you know, a first kiss early? Um, are you guys sacrificing a goat? You know, <laughs> things like that. And I had, I had one couple. They're like, huh, sacrificing a goat? Nah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a bad idea. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I got a drink for that one. Hold on. <laughs> That is a great Maybe question, though. I used to ask a similar question, like, okay, All the time. I don't like to be surprised. Is there anything I should know? <laughs> Tell me now so I'm prepared. <laughs> you know, whatever thing you got <laughs> plans, well, I know. Well, the groom will be riding a burrow down the aisle. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that would have been handy to know. <laughs> yeah, that would have been nice to know that one. Mm -hmm. Never know. You never know. We I do have, have... We do I have... I did have uh, one where the bride... Did, booked everything and I never met the groom and she neglected to tell me that the groom was blind. Oh. <laughs> Luckily you don't think about that. I found that out very early the day of. I'm like, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> or tell so me I just, you know, I my dog. Him, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just Road used, I just gave him directions and he would he by voice and he would turn and it, it worked <laughs> out. But yeah. A little weird. We're going to squeeze another movie into it and talk about road trip for a second when he stole the bus from the blind <laughs> school. The school of the yeah. blind. <laughs> I love that. Don't feed my dog. I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Anyhow. So we, we have all kinds of rules uh, in our senior sessions. Like... Um, you know, I, I kind of break the ice by letting them know that it's going to look like I'm staring at them today, but it's because I'm watching. And we do. We stare at people, pe uh, photographers. We always do. We don't realize it, but we do. Um, make sure that they well, don't feel Well, not only that, like outside of work, I'm like staring at people and I'm like, oh, yeah. hey, your hair's different. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Why did I say that? Or it's like, or my assistants now, they're like, they'll text me years later. I can't look at a necklace now without fixing it. You have fixing me like, it. Yep. I'm like, Make a wish. Yeah, they have, yeah, I'm like, I have to fix that. They're like, I, I always, like, I always got in you know, a big fight because of that when, when I was doing my internship. Um, that was my job all summer. Uh, I'm mean, at all kinds of jobs, but one of them was during the sessions as an assistant. I had fixed clothing, fixed Netflix. Um, anything like that hair all that kind of stuff well it was the it was 2000 or uh 9, 2000 it was 1991 so last century yeah okay it was uh and it was it was one of the it was the summer that everybody all the girls wore spaghetti straps with the bra so they had bra straps showing but they didn't want to have the bra strap showing so they tried to like hide it with that little so they like line it up way back then and so it's my job to make sure bra straps were taken care of. I mean, I was a bra strap assistant. It was it was not something I wrote down on my. That's um, easy. You just get yeah. in there. Just... Yeah, <laughs> off it goes. Uh, but so we we went out to dinner as a, as a uh, the studio the, the uh, uh, employees the whole staff went out to dinner one night and we were sitting there and we were having drinks and everything and um, this lady comes around walking past our table. And it was like her bra strap was hanging down her shoulder. And without even thinking about it, because I was doing so much. With, oh, I reached out to fix it. I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> and about half a second later, around the corner comes this, like, linebacker. Yeah, how's it going? Her, her boyfriend. I'm like, holy shit, I'm glad I didn't, I didn't grab on that and hang on. You touching my out. woman? <laughs> yeah. Just trying to make it photographically correct, sir. That's right. Yeah. Well, no, trust I, me, I'm, I'm a professional. To... <laughs> I do I do this all the time. Most people appreciate I do, it. I don't know time. what your problem we is. Fix stuff all the time. <laughs> no, but we have rules. We, we got rules for our high school seniors, like no falling off of chairs, stools, ladders, logs, rocks, anything you're sitting on or standing on, that's rule number A. Um, rule number B, all our rules, by the way, 
came about because of something that's happened in the past. <laughs> so one of our rules was, um, and this coincides with the, with the next rule that we have, by the way, um, no falling in the river. <laughs> no falling in the river. And that coincides with all undergarments must match outer garments <laughs> because oh. the one young lady that fell in the river because she wasn't paying attention had uh, very colorful undergarments and a very light white shirt. <laughs> and it didn't work out well for the rest of that clothing change. Um, so yeah, all undergarments must wear, must match outer garments. Um, we got all kinds of rules, but it was, that actually did scare me because the river was really moving. And uh, mm. I was a little bit concerned at that moment for her, but. Rule, rule 17 for well us and, is, if you're going to bring a lizard to the session, we need to know ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> and if if another another farm dog shows up where the where the the kid that wants the dog in their picture shows up with welding gloves, <laughs> I'm like, okay, no, no more of those dogs in my sessions. <laughs> Just you should have brought in the girl with the boxing gloves. <laughs> I know. Do you assist right. on that one? <laughs> And my other personality, oh, Leon. Yeah. Was, that's pretty close, Michael. That's pretty close to what you sound like. It was freaked me out. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I would do if that happened. That's that's freaky. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. That, that's I gotta dig else. that. I got. I think I know where that photograph is of her. Um, with the bike. I'm gonna dig that up and I, I'll put it on her Facebook site. I gotta find it now. It should be like one was, of those one of those old stereoscopic ones, you know, where you turn it and it's like turns into a boxer dude. And you, <laughs> or is it the <laughs> portrait? Is it one of those where the eyes follow you the wherever eyes, you go? Absolutely, <laughs> we're cutting holes in it, just like on Scooby Doo. See how we came back to that? Yeah, <laughs> where the portrait I, has eyes. <laughs> I was that actually, Scooby-Doo? oh, actually, I it's always a funny wanted, thing what, about that. Well, we when we did this house and I. I Wish we would have built it from scratch because I want I would have put in a false wall with a portrait with eyes cut out. I totally would have done that. Just so you, <laughs> you should have you should have done that when you had your fireplace redone. Oh, true. I really wanted to, I, I really wanted to put a, a fake like uh, bookshelf and something in my office here, so I'd put a room behind it. But they quoted it, and I'm like, how much? No, <laughs> regular room's fine. No, not no. <laughs> Maybe so here's room. let's let's reel this into a little bit of photographic knowledge, by the way. Nah. Speaking of eyes that follow you in a photograph, just like on Scooby Doo, if you can get your subject to not just look at you, but focus beyond where your camera is, so try to look through it like a tube and focus beyond you. It's amazing, but when you make a, fo- a wall portrait of that, it will always look like their eyes are following you wherever mm-hmm. you walk through the room. It's just an FYI. It's kind of a cool thing. It doesn't happen all the time or all that often because not everybody can can focus beyond something that they're looking at, but it adds to the effect of them watching you from a portrait. <laughs> so speaking similar Psychology. along those lines, mm-hmm. photographically wise, I, when I switched to Sony years ago, and then I had people messaging me saying, why are you still looking through the viewfinder? Isn't that the beauty is that you can just point? I can't shoot that way um, for several yeah. reasons. One is, well, my, my, I, these are readers and computer readers. So when I'm shooting, I don't have these on. So I have to look through the thing. And it helps me because I've been trained that way to focus and compose but then I'm also worried, like, if I'm shooting that way and I'm looking at them, are they looking at me and not, like, the lens? So right. are you guys still shooting, like, through the eyepiece? And I've noticed a lot of people aren't anymore. And um, there's no right or wrong. I just – sure. I think it's weird. I can't Out, do it. Outside, I'm looking through the eyepiece. Unless I'm doing a low angle because I don't particularly want to crawl down on the ground. So I'll right. just – Flip the screen Tilt up, it up. And just get low. Yeah, yep. yeah. Um, in benefits. studio or up high, you know. Yeah. Overhead with the eye focus, it's like that's great. I can just go click. <laughs> in in studio, I used you know, to be fairly anti tripod until I got that camera stand, and now everything's on a camera stand in the studio. So then that's all. Oh, right. That's all. Yeah. The back, the back LCD. Yeah, I would do that too. Because yeah. I like if I had I, yeah, that. 
I like I can just do this. I actually did a TikTok like this where I was doing a shoot uh, with like Ellie. I don't know if you guys know Ellie, model friend of mine. I was like, yeah, you know, I, was, I knew it was locking on her eye. So I'm like, I'm looking over here. Click, 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 click. <laughs> I know it was getting all the shots, but, you know, they they weren't the right moments, but <laughs> I didn't even have to look through the viewfinder. Well, nice. when you have a model posing, click, 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 click. Yeah, you exactly. Can, you know. You kind of get their rhythm too. You know that it's like it's like every beat and a half that they're into a new pose. So, click, click, click. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just can't get used to that. Uh... I, I I when I'm really concentrating, I'm looking in the viewfinder. Yeah, you know? I, it just um, for me it's easier to compose for most yeah, things. Me too. Um, it is interesting to pull back. Every occasionally I will pull it back and just like. If you're putting somebody like, you know, off center or whatever into a landscape, yeah, sometimes maybe it is easier to look at that back screen. I think because I think you take in more of the everything together than a lot of times when you're looking through the viewfinder, you're really focused on them and then everything else is secondary, which kind of is the purpose of most portraits anyway. But, you know, <laughs> um, it does give you a little bit of different perspective from what I've I've well, experienced, I, you know, I still, I pulled the drape over yet. So, you know, when, when, <laughs> when I'm back, the drape is covering the viewfinder. I can't see. Yeah. Doesn't, That's true. doesn't everybody do <laughs> that? Everything's upside down I, and backwards too. So yeah. 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 <laughs> like your video Dude. for the peak summit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throw the thing in the fire for the flash. <laughs> <laughs> Get out the gunpowder. <laughs> Boof. Oh, oh, the you know, that's I, a that's silly video, but it gets that. a laugh every time. So. Oh. Still love that. Everyone talks about this Actually, new thing, off-camera flash. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> the f flash powder was around for a long time, people. <laughs> well, what what gets the laugh on that one is, you know, brought to you by Nikon at the end. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, that's fun stuff. Funny. Hey, did you guys ever shoot in a prison? Have you ever? Have you ever been in a prison? I paid, I paid. I paid. Have twice. you ever wanted to be a Roman gladiator? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, uh, that's another reference. Airplane. No, wait. Right? Airplane. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, that was like a paraphrase from airplane. <laughs> no, I like paid twice to shoot movies? at at the Shawshank prison, but but you never went. Know? Never, never went. Well, I should say I paid once. They transferred it over the next year. And then I didn't make it that year either, only because I shouldn't say only, but it's, it was always in April. And I would yeah. back then I was traveling and speaking a lot. And it's like, you know what? I just want to be home. <laughs> I don't really yeah. feel like traveling again. And and then the next year I was supposed to go with with Twig and Scott and everyone they they were going to be gone for two weeks like yeah. they were going to shoot you know, down in uh, Gary, Indiana, which is cool too, at the, the old Methodist church, with, which I've shot yeah. at, and then, then cut over and shoot at the insane asylum in West Virginia, and then shoot at the OSR, which was the Shawshank Ohio State Reformatory, and then some other friend in Michigan. Like, I'm like, I can't be Who's gone for two weeks. This? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was a big deal for them. So I'm like, well, no. So I'd have to drive by myself. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> But it, that place is supposed to be haunted as well and and cool to shoot at. But I I never made it. I got a chance so to, to go shoot there. at the um, the old Iowa State Penitentiary, I think two years ago now. It was just before COVID. And I actually wanted it to be like super spooky haunted. And it was kind of spooky, but never, never experienced. Well, actually, I, one thing. Made me gave gave me some pause. Give me pause. Um, the one and only time I've ever had a problem. <laughs> yeah, the one claw. And only time <laughs> I've ever had a problem yes. with um, soft boxes staying closed or staying open was there. I was using some Deepmo soft boxes and I, I get it put up on a stand and I had um, Aaron came down with me as my model and she climbed up on this ledge. And I was just photographing from like one cell block across to the other. And as soon as I get it up there and I take a shot, boom, softbox would collapse. I'm like, what the hell? So I bring it down, 
pop it open, make sure it was locked, take it back up, take a couple more shots, boom, collapsed. Did it like three times. But the damn thing down, <laughs> took it off, opened. There was like a side door there. That's how we got into this particular complex. <laughs> side door, like I think Troy Schrader was walking by because there was, there was part of the Iowa group. He's walking by. I take the softbox, I chuck it out <laughs> of the door. <laughs> he was like, holy crap, what the hell's going on? Don't talk to me. This is being bad. <laughs> Makes me wonder if there was a <laughs> spirit messing with that. Because I've, I've used that same softbox many times since I never had it, never had it happen. So here's one for you. I had uh, a senior this year that postponed, 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 postponed uh, because of football and everything else. They didn't listen and come in during the summer when they actually had time. Yeah, amazing how that works. Yeah, amazing, you know. Oh yeah, I got I got yeah. a call today. Hey, can we get and, in? And uh, <laughs> oh yeah, um, but deadline's Friday. <laughs> we I had a I had a Godox eighty six hundred BM fall down and go psh, crash bang. <clears throat> yeah, um, just one little gust out of nowhere. Um, it's all it takes. Crash. And it now it's like a baby's toy. It rattles really good. But I don't think it's supposed to do that. And no. I definitely, it didn't, didn't work anymore. So the session was over at, well, I, actually, I shouldn't. It was, we were on the last shot anyhow, but um, could have pulled out the 200s I got. Anyhow, uh, I got the new 400. Michael had the last one in stock. I got it. Yay. And, uh, Got it to me ASAP so that it was here when I got back from teaching in Ann Arbor. And I uh, was able to use it on Thursday morning for a commercial shoot. Holy crap, I love that now. Um, that 400 nice is really, really cool. It's, it's, it's so much, it's lighter. <laughs> it's easier to hang on to. Um, you just grab that little back, that little bracket thing, you know. And I, I have that over, over my thumb and... I have a, uh, um, the softbox in this hand and a tripod over the other. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> it was great. Um, working fast on the fly. And, uh, yeah, it was it was really, really cool. So something that it's was scary turned out to be really good. And it just would more have been than better twice insurance as, covered it. Recycles more than twice as fast as the 600, at least at, at higher power levels. Once you get them down cool. 16th power or so, and they, it's it instantaneous on any of them. Yeah, so. it doesn't matter at that point. So it yeah, worked out I really love, nice. I love my 400. And I'm going to I'm, the 300 I'm gonna looks try intriguing it. as well. I'm going to try it on the TTL. I'm going to try it. You watch. <laughs> you have to um, you have to change a setting on your uh, X Pro if you want to be able to use that TTL convert to manual thing we're talking technical yeah now, guys. we gotta do that this is no longer spooky um okay hold on we gotta write this if you go into the menu line. of the x pro it's um <laughs> i can't remember what it's called it might be called just tcm setting and there's a, there's selections for different the different flashes different flash powers because you have to tell the uh, x pro what kind of power your flash is it's a 200 it's a 360 it's a 400 it's a 600 whatever Oh, so, so you tell which which strobe you're using. Right, right. Because okay, then it'll so do it, you use that as part of the calcu calculation. So what we're talking about, folks, okay. is... Oh, I didn't know this. This is good information. Oh, this is yeah. Good, this with is the good Godox structure. stuff, with the X-Pro transmitter, you can shoot a shot in TTL. And if it's close or you like it or whatever, that part um, I know. You, can press, <laughs> you can press and hold the TCM button, and then that'll convert your TTL settings over to manual. So then it'll lock it in, too. So you can, as long as you don't change the subject to light distance, you can just move around and recompose and all that kind of stuff, and your light's not going to change. But the one factor you have to do is you have to make sure that you've got it dialed in for the right power flash. So, But, yeah, coming back to that 300, Dan, that's what I used all for all my seniors. That's, that's my go-to flash on location now. It's, well, that looks awesome. It's sweet. And I... <laughs> The critters I have, I don't know, you guys saw, I don't think I've posted anything yet. I, I had to go photograph uh, two Squirrels? dogs, oh. two ducks, three chickens, and a turkey. 
on a white a partridge in a pear or? tree <laughs> on, on a white yeah. sweep yeah <laughs> um yeah it was interesting and uh it's because i have a client that's doing some wall art of her, her she's got some unique pets so they're all going to be like individual portraits in a in a grouping you know against on white so yeah it was interesting nice <laughs> The, I, I gotta yeah. meet this girl. I, I, <laughs> yeah, well, um, one of the ducks has an afro, so it's like a white duck, and it's actually more like a pompadour. It's like it had like little Richard hair. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty cool. As soon as I have some wow. of the images done, because so she's trying to finalize her order, I'll I'll show you guys. But yeah, no, I used the three hundred. Oh, she had interesting chickens too, and uh, photographing the turkey was really interesting. They brought in the turkey, and the turkey was just there going, what the? F <laughs> but he wouldn't look at me. He'd only look to one side. So, like, her husband us. her husband was to the side, and he turned away from him. And it was like, I could never get him to look at the camera. And so I told Darcy, it's like, okay, Darcy, you get on that side, Nate, you get in that side, and just start walking in tighter on him because they're, like, you know, freaking him out a little bit. So the tighter they got to him, the more he was like, I don't know which way to look. I'm going to look at the camera. Were, were they holding <laughs> an axe? <laughs> Yeah, no. no, he looked. Right. He, that's 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 what I said to them when they brought him in because we photographed this in their garage. Because I'm like, I'm not trying to do this in the house. No, and it's like they, they they set him down on set, and he was like, "Dudes, it's not Thanksgiving." <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of the look he had. It's, it's What's like, your name, Ezekiel? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, Tony? <laughs> Tony. Oh my God. Have you, Tony? <laughs> F you, Ezekiel! <laughs> I think, I, I build I a think fire. the turkey had a heart attack. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I think, oh, I, think I think that's a good spot to wrap think, this up. I think so. Hey, All speaking right. of good things, what are you drinking? We never I, talked oh. about what we're drinking. Oh, I, I busted uh, what open we drank. a bottle of 16-year-old log of Yulin. So this is probably my top two scotch for me. Oh, this is really good. I, uh, usually a bottle will last me a month as might not last me a week <laughs> mine is uh we're up in the old dc the adore county and uh they had we we're at Beringer's restaurant which is a fancy steakhouse which we didn't eat at but we just stopped there for drinks after Where's our bike things? ride it's at fish creek so oh okay we did our bike ride and we swung in there for some drinks and they had all these bottles of buffalo trace and i was like they had like 25 bottles of Buffalo Trace. And they're like, yeah, we get we buy a barrel and they bottle it especially for our restaurant. It's like 50 bucks a bottle. Oh, cool. I said, I'll take one because <laughs> it's supposedly Dumb. impossible to find. So I, so sure. I busted open the Buffalo Trace. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> And of course, I just had whiskey. Cause I probably could have sold it on eBay for I'm, like you know five hundred dollars, but. <laughs> well, I'm I'm still working on um, that whiskey client, potential whiskey client of mine. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Okay. They asked for pricing, and I quoted you know, and I haven't heard anything back yet. So. <laughs> and they and speaking of scary, they ghosted you. <laughs> right. Yeah, they ghosted you. Now, dang. Yeah. I'm also drinking tea because I'm dealing with my. My cough, which I've did mute a few times, uh, which is not COVID. COVID. It's not it COVID. Not a it's COVID cough. you know, interestingly, Mexico, surprisingly enough, there's other viral things you can still catch that it's not COVID. No, yes. believe it or not, we. I have acute bronchitis. There was, <laughs> there was a no, employee. It's very cute. A employee <laughs> very in cute. town. <laughs> Yeah, that's very cute. There was an employee in town at a um, business that sneezed. And the supervisor said, oh, my gosh, you, you, you sneeze at work. You, you must have COVID. You need to get out. And she's like, I don't have COVID. It's allergy season. It's, it's allergies. Um, she, she was sent home and had to quarantine or get tested. And she, of course, tested negative. Um, she said, I have allergies. He tested negative, but they said you still have to quarantine 14 days before you come back um, without pay. So she quit. 
Oh, I would too. That's ridiculous. Because she sneezed. I'm like, she sneezed. you guys, there's <laughs> COVID is yeah. just recent thing. We've been well, sneezing and coughing forever. And she got tested, so she's negative. Okay, she's right. negative. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I, I, allergies are so bad right now. I sneezed so hard the other day. I kid you not. No, 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 no. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I pooped myself. No, I. <laughs> The glasses, the the lead crystal glasses in our china cabinet, chimed. Oh my. I was like, "Hat you!" Ding. Ding. Oh, <laughs> and on that note, I think it was an A sharp. But on that note, yeah, yeah. all right. So we should probably give the uh, give the uh, actually we should, we already talked about uh, photo uh, the photo happy hour is sponsored. We do the drink. Red Curl Creative. <laughs> Yeah, gotta do the drink. So the zombie the cocktail, which uh, that's some, that's one thing. If we can get some time here in the off season, I'm gonna actually start to make some of these. This one, no, this one will put you on your keister. Um, <laughs> so what's in a zombie cocktail? It's a one ounce of light rum, okay. One ounce of dark rum, cool. One ounce of apricot liquor, two ounces of orange juice, a dash of lime bitters, a handful of ice, and then the topper. An ounce of Bacardi 151. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say <laughs> every so this, Yeah, pretty Ooh. close. So this is the this is the part I don't get. You, so you combine the light rum, the dark rum, the apricot liquor, the orange juice, the bitters using a cocktail shaker. Okay, I get that part. So you pour it into a large glass filled with ice. You top it with the 151, and then you garnish garnish it with an orange slice and cherry. So you got the 151 sitting on top. And I was I kept reading the recipe going, Do you light it on fire? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was off. expecting. I was yeah. thinking do that. you do you stir it? He said, No. It's just, you know, you're good to go. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Flame well, it. We Yeah, we used to make this shot at the bar that I worked at and uh you would finish it with you would take a lighter, like and cinnamon, and you'd sprinkle the cinnamon and, and light it and it would sure you know like like embers like sparkle down and and would you'd have a good aroma as well from the the burnt cinnamon but it, it was quite a display that was kind of cool um so I, that's what i was expecting it yeah you you would light the rum if you're going to put it on top well 151 holy cow yeah that's nasty stuff yeah. that was the that was the I have, speaking of spooky scary memories that was the trigger on my 18th birthday because, you know, we were legal back when, back when I turned 18. So I was doing great, great cruising. I was at cruising altitude, making a way through Jack Daniels, beer, everything else. Got a shot of 151, and that, that trampolined so hard and so <laughs> fast. <laughs> yep. No more. Uh, yeah. Oh, one last part. Like the fall scary. Conv- Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was just say one I, I was scary, just gonna say scary like scary thing. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> go, Dan. Go, 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 go. We'll finish with my scary thing. We'll finish with yours. I was just gonna say it kind of reminds me of the fall convention when we decided to go to the bar and we get there and you or I had way too many mojitos and you were like shot a doctor in a PBR. Like yeah, those <laughs> right. two things. I. I at the I end of the, the night, did not do me well. Stomach. Yeah, which I was not puking. Do anybody well. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I thought it was Paul's wife. <laughs> Should I tell that, that part of the story? No. no yeah. I don't want to tell that story. <laughs> I Back saw when we middle of the night. I, I, I have to. <laughs> I think I, that was the time I had to fly to. Uh, I had to fly to Ohio to teach a teach a, a workshop the next day. So I had to get up <laughs> early. And in the middle of the night, I heard somebody throwing up, and I could hear. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Oh my gosh, Paul's wife!" Because they were sharing this like condo with us. She must be really sick. If I don't later, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When I start dry heaving, it's it's very high pitched and very. It's not good. <laughs> not pretty sight. It's uh, not a pretty scary. Sight. Not stuff. A pretty sound. Yeah, it's scary stuff. Speaking All right, so ta- finish up with yours, Carl. <laughs> Scary, scary stuff this weekend, guys. Or or tomorrow, the Packers are without Devontae Adams. 
<laughs> and scary stuff. And Lazard too. And They're both Lazard. Lazard. Did, That's scary. Did you stuff. see? You didn't see my Facebook post before we got online, did you? No. Um, I've been busy. Good news. We've, our Savior is on his way from Kansas, on his way to Arizona. Check out my Facebook post. <laughs> You'll okay. get it. <laughs> oh, we'll have to see <laughs> on that, that note. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us for our spooky. I don't know how spooky it was, but yeah, it was kind of fun. Our spooky yeah, Halloween episode. Too, that's scary. So, till next time. Cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You don't know the power of this podcast. You must obey me and subscribe. When I first started listening, I was but the learner. Now I am the master. Subscribe now. It is useless to resist.